Suprashl is a remarkable part of Podlasie, situated in the center of the Knishin forest. It is a city with a rich 500-year history, which, owing to its location and scientific potential, is perceived as a touristic, cultural, and educational center of the region. It is a place where one may not only relax, but also spend time pleasantly during any season. The city of Suprashl, celebrating the 500th anniversary of its foundation in 2000, is both the seat of self-government authorities and one of the main cultural centers in the region. The city is situated in the heart of the Knishin forest and is surrounded by the beautiful meandering river Suprashl. There are no industrial facilities around and thanks to ecological qualities of the city, the cleanness of air, the microclimate and nearby rich peat deposits, in 2002, Suprashal acquired health resort status. The direct vicinity of Białystok means that both the inhabitants and tourists visiting Suprashal may quickly travel to a big European city connected with practically all parts of Poland. One may equally quickly return to the natural landscapes and devote oneself to the attractions of the small but charming health resort with its wonderful atmosphere where life has its own rhythm so different from the pulsing clamor of the city. Suprashal prides itself on its finely preserved and reconstructed historical monuments. Entering the city, a visitor will see the monastery, which has been established by monks of St. Basil the Great and founded by the Marshal of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, Alexander Khotkevich. In the 18th and 19th centuries, it served as a convent of the Unite Order of St. Basil. At the turn of the centuries, the convent was the seat of the Uniate Diocese, founded by the Pope Pius VI. During the partitions period, the convent has been the property of the Russian Orthodox Church. In the interbellum, it has once more become Catholic property, this time as the seat of the Silesian Order. After 1945, the monastery has been transformed into an educational facility. It housed the Agricultural Engineering Technical School. Currently, it is the property of the Polish Autocephalous Orthodox Church. The monastery of Suprashl has been named the seventh wonder of Poland in 2011. The Abbot's Palace houses the Museum of Icons, an interactive museum of the sacral art of Eastern Christianity, which presents mainly Russian icons acquired by customs authorities on the eastern border of Poland. Suprashl is a multi-faith and tolerant city. One of its unique historical monuments is the Catholic Church of the Holy Trinity, commissioned as a place of worship directly after the January uprising. In the beginning of the 20th century, it has been expanded with an anti-chapel with a tower, a choir, and two sacristies. Several dozen meters further there stands the post-evangelical church of the Holy Virgin Mary, the Queen of Poland, which has been constructed in 1885 in the Gothic Revival style. Until 1939, it has been an evangelical filial branch church of the Augsburg Confession. Between 1939 and 1941, after removing crosses and sacral furnishings, the Soviets organized an army cinema in the temple. After the Second World War, until the renovation conducted at the beginning of the 1980s, the evangelical church, unused for years, was in danger of collapsing. In the very heart of the city, there stands Suprashl's jewel of architecture, the Buchholz Palace, which has been constructed in the 18th century as the court of the Basilian Monastery steward. At the turn of the 19th and 20th centuries, it has been reconstructed in the eclectic style 
with a dominant Art Nouveau influence by the new owners, the Buchholz family, which moved their factory to Subrachel from the region of Wuch. Since 1959, it houses the secondary school of fine arts named after Arthur Grodger. Learning about the rich history of Suprashl, tourists should visit the old Uniate Cemetery established in the end of the 18th century and the Evangelical Cemetery founded in the mid-19th century. After liquidating the Union by Tsarist authorities, they have been expanded also with Roman Catholic and Orthodox cemetery parts. The latter has been functioning until the 19th century. In Suprashal, history intertwines with the present. An example of contemporary utilization of historical buildings are the weavers' houses, situated along the 3rd May Street, which are still inhabited. They have been constructed in the mid-19th century and emulated the manufactory architectural patterns of Brandenburg. The 3rd May Street has also been the place of residence of characters from popular television shows, for example, Blondinka. Another example of the permission of history and modernity is Klein's house, which has been constructed at the end of the 19th century as a house for the administrator of the Buchholz textile factory and subsequently served as the parish house. It is one of the rare brick factory architecture buildings from the turn of the 19th and 20th centuries and another place favored by filmmakers. In Jacek Bromski's trilogy titled Upana Boga, it served as a police station in Krulowy Most. Since 2007, Klein's house is the seat of the cultural and recreational center with a gallery of works of Viktor Volkov, a known photographer of nature in the Podlasie region. During a tour of historical monuments in Suprashl and its surroundings, it is well worth to visit the court of the Bishop Yavorovsky, constructed in 1822. The Kairach lived there during summers. Currently, it houses the seat of the Knishen Forest Landscape Park, named after Witold Swawinski. The region of the town of Sokwoda bore witness to the more recent, although rueful, history. It is the place where the November insurgents died in battle with the Russians, which took place on July 7, 1831. Oral tradition has it that the river ran red with the blood of the slain on that day. The mass grave was discovered in December 2009 after three years of searching. Today, tourists may visit the cemetery of the participants of the November insurgency of 1831 in Kopnagura. Suprashla and its surroundings are a beautiful and charming place, situated away from the noise of cities and raucous and tawdry touristic promenades of the bigger resorts. This unique part of Podlasia is characterized by varied landscapes formed by numerous forested hills and valleys of small rivers. The picturesque river Suprashla, once called Sprongshla, flows from the southeastern reaches of the Białystok upland. Its head is situated among swamps and it ends its flow in the Narev River. Around 70% of the commune's surface is covered by the Knishen Forest. The most valuable fragments of the forest, untainted with civilization and unspoiled, are part of the vast Knishen Forest Landscape Park. The park bears the name of Professor Witold Swawinski and is the largest protected region of its type in Poland. It encompasses nearly 75,000 hectares of land. It is thanks to the reserves of the Knishen Forest Landscape Park of the Suprashil Forest Inspectorate that the most valuable fragments of nature and many rare and protected specimens of fauna and flora are preserved. Another noteworthy environmental phenomenon is the Arboretum in Kopnagura, created by the Suprashil Forest Inspectorate in 1988. It was at the time the first such concentration of plants in northeastern Poland. 
The city itself contains a swimming area over the Suprashal River, where inhabitants of Suprashal and Białystok, as well as tourists visiting the area, like to swim and sunbathe. Suprashka has always been famous for its good climate and even before the Second World War, tourists came here on their summer vacations in order to improve their health, set hammocks and inhale the balmy air. Health resort, a phrase which attracts people like a magnet. But is it worth visiting a provincial town? It definitely is. There are many reasons to visit Suprashka. The climate here is exceptionally favorable. The peat deposits which have been discovered and examined are an additional curative aspect of the region and are treated as one of the best deposits of this type in Poland. From a medical perspective, a visit in Suprashal is recommended to all those which have undergone surgery, those suffering from rheumatic, cardiological and respiratory illness. The city possesses sanatorium and curative facilities with state-of-the-art equipment and excellent rehabilitation personnel. The surroundings of Suprashla are a perfect place for practicing various sports. In spite being a typically low-lying location, the city prides itself on some of the most beautiful and at the same time demanding cross-country skiing routes. Many inhabitants successfully train cross-country skiing and tourists from various regions of Europe visit Suprashla in order to peacefully practice the discipline away from overcrowded resorts. After an actively spent day, guests often readily explore the Knishan forest. Sleigh rides organized in Suprashal are especially famous and are an unforgettable experience for all participants. Winter events stir participating guests into action and remain in the memories of inhabitants and tourists visiting Suprashal forever. When the snow melts, and it does so only in late spring, sport activities become even more widespread. Excellent forest routes and ducks are simply perfect for practicing cross-country running, mountain biking or Nordic walking. The Suprashal River fills up with canoes, boats and paddle boats. Suprashal entices with splendid tourist facilities ready to host tourists from all over the world, irrespective of their financial status and varying needs of the body and soul. Accommodation facilities from super modern and exclusive hotels which will satisfy even the most refined and demanding customers to small guest houses with pleasant atmosphere or single rooms for rent means that tourists love to visit Suprashal even for as brief periods as weekends. Suprashal is also a paradise for those who appreciate culinary sensations and extraordinary flavors. Every year, Suprashal hosts the annual World Potato Cake and Potato Sausage Baking Championship. The city itself contains two restaurants managed by chefs which have won this competition many times. Apart from potato cakes and potato sausages, visitors may taste delicacies of the Tartar cuisine, such as kobata or almawik. Suprashl hosts many interesting cultural, family and sports events, which are attended by tourists from Poland and from abroad. 
Some present their collections and talents, while others admire the attractions offered by the organizers. The Podlasia Octave of Cultures allows visitors to marvel at the artistic works of bands from Poland and countries represented by the Belarusians, Lithuanians, Romani, Russians, Tatars, Ukrainians and Jews living in the Podlaskie Voivodship. It is in the vicinity of Suprašl in Ogrodniczki, where the Podlasie military picnic Mission East is organized. It is the biggest meeting of historical reenactment groups and a show of military vehicles in eastern Poland. Aficionados of history and military technology may admire battle reenactments and visit military bases of various times and many armies. One may also drive army vehicles and see modern military formations. On the other hand, international cultural exchange is part of the festival Canton Suprašl. It is a three-day festival promoting the cooperation based on partnership between the commune of Suprašl and the commune of Balstal, conducted in scope of the project Suprašl, the Polish window on Switzerland. Screenings of movies, performances by folklore bands or culinary workshops bring closer the inhabitants of these distant places, as well as tourists participating in the event. The tradition of contacts between Poland and Switzerland dates 20 years back. For many years, the self-government of Suprašl, in collaboration with the Friends of Suprašl Society, has actively been realizing the trendy motto of integration in the scope of the country as well as entire Europe. The undertaken activities aim not only at allowing people of different cultures and nationalities to learn about each other's customs, but also exchange acquired experiences. One of the partner cities of Suprašl is the Swiss Balstal, a municipal commune in the Tal district of the Solothurn canton in Switzerland. These two partner cities jointly realized the program Suprašl, the Polish window on Switzerland. Based on the long-standing cooperation of the communes of Suprašl and Balstal, the project is aimed at initiating new activities and exchange of experiences between the two municipalities. Inhabitants getting to know each other, exchanging experiences in various areas, from cultural or social activity, through to education or promotion of the qualities of both partners. Inhabitants of Suprash and Balstal exchange experiences during study visits and collective conferences. The communes may learn a lot from each other, at the same time supporting their partners in far-reaching promotion of their regions. Organizing festivals, exhibitions and joint publishing allows for making closer acquaintances with kindred spirits separated by almost 1,700 kilometers of land. The project Suprašl the Polish Window on Switzerland is co-financed by the Swiss in scope of the Swiss program of cooperation with new member states of the European Union. This program could not exist without the 20-year partnership of both communes. When in 1993 a group of citizens of Switzerland visited Suprašl, they immediately fell in love with the beautiful and unique atmosphere of this part of Podlasia. Wonderfully entertained by the inhabitants of Suprašl, they right away decided to invite a delegation from Suprašl to Switzerland. The climatic moment of the contact between the communes was the decision on a cooperation agreement signed October 3, 1998 in Suprašl. The residents of both communes sincerely found favor in each other. Friendships bloomed and several girls from Suprašl married men from Balstal. The ambassador of Balstal in Poland is the Friends of Suprašl Society and its Swiss counterpart is the Interessengemeinschaft Suprašl Balstal. Balstal is situated on the route traveled by the Roman legions on the way to their many conquests. The historical road built by Roman slaves remains there to this day and is one of the oldest and most appealing attractions of this region.
Walking down the hills towards it, visitors will see a breathtaking panorama of the town situated between two towering castles. The first are the ruins of the grand stronghold of Neu Falkenstein, a castle built probably in the 12th century by the Falkenstein brothers. The ruins are well preserved and their location and the views stretching around make the castle a favorite place of photographers and filmmakers not only from Switzerland. On the opposite side of the city, Rudolf I von Falkenstein constructed his castle nearly 100 years later. The fortress houses many museum collections accumulated throughout the ages from local towns and further areas. Inside, one may find rich military-themed collections, from knight's armor and many kinds of sidearms to dozens of guns, cannons and grenades, dating from the time of the wars which raged throughout old Europe. In spite of Switzerland being a neutral country, it is a place where fans of old military accessories will find many extraordinary exhibits. The museum also presents items connected to religious cult, baptismal bowls, grave crosses, as well as household articles. And all this in faithfully designed interiors, based on different epochs in which social life bloomed in days past in the castle now called Old Falkenstein. What is interesting, the current owners of the castle and at the same time the custodians of the museum are a mixed couple. The husband is Swiss while his wife, of course, comes from the Polish Podlasie. From the courtyard of the tower, visitors will see a panorama of the entire city. It is a view which remains in the memory of guests forever. The Soloton Canton is not only historical monuments and beautiful views, however, one may not entirely overlook those. Active tourists will find many attractions, for example, in Langebruck. In winter, visitors may have some skiing fun on several ski runs, and in the summer, they may test themselves on a ropes course or feel a true onrush of adrenaline while riding with a high velocity on a sunny sled track. In Balstal itself, the Swiss really care about their physical condition and their health. The sports center with courts, hippodromes and running tracks is also open for tourists. There also is a newly renovated water park where tourists may use an Olympic swimming pool, a swimming pool for beginners, a fast water slide, wading pools for the youngest visitors and other attractions, for example water jets, massages or pools with back currents. Around the pools there are extensive picnic grounds, charming restaurants and outdoor grill houses. Visitors may relax there between mid-May until the end of September. The most beautiful attractions in this Swiss valley have been, however, created by nature itself. There are unique waterfalls flowing from the hills surrounding the city, creating streams which pass between buildings. In the forests surrounding the city, hundreds of years of evolution created unique climates. Rocks accumulated by means of glaciers have formed into a grotto, which, according to local tradition, was a meeting place for covens of witches. When the stylish ladies flying on their brooms are elsewhere, visitors may enter the cave, light a fire and relax after a mountain hike. The magical grotto and many similar places are all part of the Thal Nature Park. Similarly, as the Knishen Nature Reserve, it is a place where the balance between humans, nature and landscape is of the utmost importance. Just like Suprajl, Balstal is a multi-faith and tolerant city, where the religiousness of many generations of inhabitants plays a significant role. 
Here, one may find perfectly preserved churches, cemeteries, and places of religious cult. Despite Alpine trails being far remote from Balstal, this place allows visitors to fully feel the unique atmosphere of the homeland of chocolate, with the red flag with its white cross proudly fluttering in the background. Suprashl is a small city of great possibilities. Its extraordinary atmosphere is unique not only in Poland, but in the scale of entire Europe. The city is constantly developing, and year after year it surprises visitors with the changes which are performed there. All tourists visiting Suprashl have one thing in common. They always come back, because when you come here once, you will want to return again.